No time for the introduction. Let's go ahead and get into it. Today we're going to be talking about Danielle Redlick. Her story starts off with meeting a guy named Michael. Hi, can I help you? Well, sweetheart, my wife just died. How do you feel about coming home and making an old man feel better? Oh my gosh, dad, you're so sweet. I'll see you when I get home. Yep, you heard that right. That was her stepdad. Now, he claimed to have only married her mom for insurance purposes, but <laughs> you don't think they were hunching? I do. Anyway, the mom had died of breast cancer, unfortunately, and he soon went after his daughter. Being 20 years younger than her stepdad, she saw him as worldly, wise, and familiar, so she was attracted to him. Michael was somewhere in his 40s when they got together, and he worked for the NBA team, the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, he and Danielle got married. They were married for about 15 years, and he moved on to work for the University of Central Florida. Now, during their time together, Michael cheated on his daughter wife with another woman. Now, Danielle was upset that her father husband cheated on her, and so she left. Now, he wanted his daughter back, so he actually went and got her, and they got back together. And just like that, she was calling him daddy again. Yuck. Now, Michael finally got his little girl to come back home, so he was not letting anything come between them ever again. So imagine his surprise when he found his daughter wife was on dating apps. The dating app he found his daughter wife on was Meet Mindful. For those who want to live that happiest, healthiest life. So January the 11th, 2019, Michael decided to confront his daughter wife about her being on dating apps. Now from this point on, Danielle's story changed a couple of times. So the first version of her story went kind of like this. You cheating on me? What is that? Oh, you give me that. Give me that. So after the fight, she claimed that she grabbed a knife for self-defense. He snatched the knife away from her and stabbed himself. The second time that she told the story, she said that she grabbed the knife and she stabbed him for self-defense. Like, he was going to hurt me. Okay, Danielle. After she stabbed him, she claimed that she went into the bathroom and locked herself away and just waited while he moaned and screamed for help in the next room until he died. Then, after he was dead, she went outside and decided to tidy up the place. Now, she'd been cleaning up for so long, she was like, oh, I got so tired, I just had to take a nap. He was dead for about five hours at this time. She took about a four-hour nap, and then she woke up, and guess what she decided to do? Check on her messages, yeah! Because now that her husband and her father was dead, she had time to pursue other men. It was after 11 hours, then she decided to call the police. It later came out that he was writing emails and telling other people that he knew that he, if he died, she killed him. And after all the evidence mounted against her, she was acquitted. She only got 12 months probation. Now she's a free widow and an orphan. <laughs> Crazy, right? 